This video introduces the search by example demonstrator created for the Dictasign project deliverable D7.1. When given a query sign, a selection of possible matches are returned from a pre-trained dictionary. First, the signer's hands are tracked creating trajectories for all the signs. Features are then extracted which are partially based on Hamnosis symbols. Motion features, derived from the track trajectories, encode absolute and relative hand motion, such as hands move together, apart or in synchronisation. Location features encode the position of the hands relative to the signer. Handshape features encode the different canonical hand postures. These features are stored as binary vectors. Shown here is a sequence of sign with the corresponding features displayed along the bottom. As the signs are repeated, so the binary pattern shows repetition. Given a dictionary of 984 signs, a classifier is learnt using four examples of each sign. A fifth example of the sign is retained unseen for testing. The first order assumption is made and Markov models constructed for each word in the lexicon. During classification, the model bank is applied to incoming data in a similar fashion to HMMs. Quantitative results were obtained by training and testing the classifier on 10 different random combinations of training and test database. In a dictionary scenario, 64% of the signs are returned as the top result, and 77% are within the top 10 returned signs. This is achieved using motion and position features alone. The approach is flexible, allowing additional features to be introduced as they become available within the project. First, the pre-computed features are loaded into memory. The classifier is then trained. The user can select the sign they would like to use as an index into the dictionary. Here we show a simple query taken from the database. Sign 24 from sequence 25 is provided to the system as a query. This is a Greek sign for page. The features for the sign are found and the corresponding video is shown to verify the sign is correct. The classifier returns and displays the top 10 signs in the dictionary which match the query sign. These are ranked according to how similar the system deems them to the query. As can be seen, the highest ranked sign is the correct sign. However, signs 2, 3 and 4 all have similar motion. The system regularly returns signs which are similar in motion and position to the query sign. The correct response has been highlighted in green for each set of returned signs. Here the user is searching for sign 20 of sequence 2, the sign artist. Notice how return signs 2, 6 and 8 all contain the similar alternating hand motions in the neutral space. This is a sign Europe, sign number 15 of sequence 12. Many of the return signs contain similar arcing motions at the start of the sign. The sign painting has been selected. Sequence 26, sign 2. The top sign returned here is the sign for moon. It has been confused due to similarity between its co-articulation and the target sign. The final sign shown is France. Sequence 15, sign 1. The majority of the return signs are also dominant hand only and in the region of the head. We are currently working on a robust hand-shaped classification for inclusion into the demonstration which will allow further disambiguation between examples.